right, guys, you may be looking at this and say, damn, Todd, that is a huge watch box or something. But actually, this is pretty cool. Now, um, at least I hope it's what I think it is. Otherwise, it could be something wildly inappropriate. That did happen once. I did buy something in the, the store that uh, was supposed to ship it to me, shipped me something completely different. And uh, when I opened it up, my wife was like, Todd, why are you buying that? And I said, this is not what I ordered. This is not what it looks like, I promise. She said, okay. And it was uh, kind of awkward. We will get into that. But I got this. And I think it's kind of cool because it is going to help my videos. And I'll speed this up. Guys, this is a macro monoscope. So I'll be able to film really close and do amazing shots of the movement right there with a zoom in. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, first I apologize. Uh, the setup, I do not have my workbench built yet. So I'm actually sharing my daughter's Lego table, which you can see right here. So I apologize. But um, the way I have this set up, uh, I've got this monitor here, which connects to the top of the camera. And I'll go into different parts of this of this uh, monoscope. But uh, unfortunately, this monitor is an older monitor, and I will get a better one uh, for this. But it only supports 20, 20, 1024 at 30 frames per second. Uh, this thing actually records at um, 4K, uh, and the camera actually supports 4K. The monitor does not. It gets crazy if I set it. Um, but basically, uh, this thing is made up of multiple parts. There's the frame, uh, the frame and platform. There is the adjustment piece. Then there is actually the scope, which is a separate device. And I'll put all the, all the pictures up there at the top so you can see. So again, there is the platform. There's the adjustment piece. There is the monoscope. There is the camera. And then there is this device, which I can use to adjust to make brighter or darker, depending on the look you're going for. So you can really wash it out on the screen, or if you want it to just get it kind of perfect, you can do that. But here's some of the things that you can kind of notice. And I want you to first see, and, and unfortunately, I, I'm not recording this right now, but it does take, and I'll show a picture up here so you can see, it takes compact flash cards or it will also take a USB direct connect. But I want you to look at the screen and I'll try and put a picture so you can zoom up and see. But you can literally see fingerprints on this, uh, on the minute hand. Uh, as the second hand kind of goes around, you can kind of see, but if you look really carefully and I'll do a zoom in of it and, and let me see if I can even adjust. You can literally see a fingerprint on there. And so, you see, that's what's so great about this, because you can really zoom in, you can really zoom into this uh, watch, and you can see um, uh, really the very fine details of a watch. Uh, every little thing you can see that the, um, if you look really carefully, you can actually see that the second second hand is actually bent, because as, as the hand moves, it, it actually wobbles. So it's completely crazy how, how accurate this is, but I will be able to take really good close-up video of uh, a movement running, uh, particularly the mechanical ones, uh, and I'll put a, a video in here somewhere um, so you can see it as well. But this is really gonna be fantastic for me. Now, normally this is what I see when I use my high-resolution uh, glasses. Um, and that's okay, but when you know when I'm actually working on it and I want to record it, this is really good because I can use the platform, I can work on it, I can put my parts on here, I can zoom in and I can actually see things, I can see the problem, uh, whatever it is I'm working on, and, and this will really help me because I can record it and now show it to you guys. So it is a really cool device. Uh, total cost, and, and this was one of the less expensive ones, but that still had most of the features. I paid a total of, I think, 220 some odd dollars shipped. Now, uh, it did come from China. I got it from AliExpress. 
something like this would normally be a thousand dollars. Quite frankly, I'll just be totally honest with you. Uh, most of the ones that you will get from the United States are all so made in China anyways. And quite frankly, all they do is actually just change or slap on the label. I've seen that all the time. There's a Hobart uh, spot welder for working on cars. The Hobart one was like $500. The one from Harbor Freight was literally the exact same tool. There was nothing about it different, and it was uh, less than $100. So um, anyways, just wanted to show you what I'll try and incorporate some of these videos into uh, in these screenshots as well into my future videos. I've been really busy, but uh, hopefully you'll like this. <clears throat> and um, this is my, my Croton Sea Diver. Um, if you're interested, uh, it's, it's okay, but you can really kind of see the quality or lack thereof really of this particular one. And this is one of their cheaper ones. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. So it's, it's not like, you know, I don't want to bash this watch because it's a, it's a good everyday watch for me. I wear it on a regular basis, but this is really fantastic. So hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to seeing more videos with this in it. Thank you.